uh, the world of DA. You know, um, I have to say, Shelley, thanks so much just for even that presentation. I went, oh, gosh, I should do that. Oh, what a cool idea. <laughs> the good and bad news about the brain is it is about as deep and even more so than, than your mind. So the opportunities, uh, you know, while I'm sitting here being reminded that probably the biggest value of the brain that I have found relative to all of this is, is a lot of the subtlety of GTD is freeing up your brain to be able to do creative developmental thinking about whatever you want to think about. I mean, truly, if everybody just sat down, I just think of how many things you could think of and relate to every single project that you have, the people, the, what it relates to, how many ways you could connect to it. So I imagine people who's, who may be new particularly to the brain that just saw that could be potentially overwhelmed with that, but the truth is that, is, that overwhelm or that potential for all those, all those creative thoughts is sitting right there for everybody. Now, basically, I have, you know, there are two brains I set up. When I first got onto the brain, uh, you know, the, the recommendation back then was create one brain so, and so that everything ties together as much as possible. And I found I don't use it for list management, you know, in terms of the specific details of projects and actions so much. But one of the things I found, and it's it, it, that the brain is, is, there's nothing quite like it to do um, the connections, because as you say, there's a part of a, there's, the brain kind of has these open loops out there. It's almost like, I don't know what the, the example is, not, not a bacteria, that's kind of a bad idea, but it's kind of like got these little hooks out there ready for all kinds of things that you might want to think about. For instance, world of DA, right? So countries, I just, this was not too long ago I started to realize, well, wait a minute, if I want to go to Germany or what else, you know, what about Switzerland? So I, I you know, I would have a contact so I can go to Switzerland and I suddenly see, okay, well, I've got cities underneath that. So there's Geneva, you know, and there's Zurich. And then these, these are connections that I have over there. I just did some pro bono work for uh, the largest um, uh, cons conservation uh, organization in the world, you know, that sits underneath that out of Geneva. And by the way, very cool because now the brain is set up to do connects and create links to Lotus Notes documents that I use and Outlook documents. So that's very, very cool. So I go, Jack Griffin, if I'm thinking about Switzerland, Jack Griffin, well, who's Jack? Well, Jack happens to be a guy that invited me to the America's Cup. He was involved in PR. He lives in Geneva. Oh, yeah, and his daughter was Julie. That's right. And uh, what about Julie? Oh, that's right. Well, Julie was part of IUCN. Oh, that's cool. And I can keep going back and forth to that as I might want, as I might want to. So I, I can go on and on and on, uh, as, as you can imagine, an almost infinite amount of things. Here's my company. So, you know, by the way, here are my 20 and 30 and 40,000 feet personally over there, you'll see. But my company, you know, I might have my, all of my staff, so I can look at each one of them and, and connect to them on and on and on. So there can be, you know, just all kinds of things. Again, this is not complete. If, I, if this were being complete, you'd never end it, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, in terms of how many things could connect. But one of the things that I found, I try to keep it open whenever I'm working, because in random moments in an email, I'll see something or somebody. Uh, for instance, um, I think I have influentials I started. So who are the influential people out there that I either come across? You know, David Walker, who's now head of the P. Peterson uh, Institute. I just stuck in there. Here's a connection to his website. He used to be at the GAO. Philip Martin's my guy on the East Coast that introduced me. Yada, yada. So again, I could go on and on. So that's an infinite one that I keep open almost all the time because I, you know, I well, as you said, many times I'll be thinking about a client and I'll say, well, who else knows them? What other connections might I have? Or I'm thinking about a location. Oh, I'm going to be doing a seminar, you know, in Washington, D.C. You know, so let me go see what's happening in Washington. So, oh yeah, Phillips there. Oh, that's Jim Fallows. That's right. He's in Washington. If he's there, uh, Alan Atkins, a old client of mine, Jeffrey, et cetera. So again, that's not everybody I know in D.C. It's just when I happen to think of it and happen to you know have the energy to stick it in there. So this has gained value exponentially over time, as you can imagine, as I've inserted it in there. Now, one very specific application that I have to, uh, it's worth getting the brain if you don't have it just for this one thing, and I call it my auto bio. I thought, you know, if I have always wondered how do you connect all the different dreams I've had and people I've known and all the different things. If I ever actually wanted to sat down, sit down and write my own autobiography, how would I connect all those different things? Because, you know, there's, what's the different themes? Well, I decided, well, let me just use the brain to do a core dump. And I think I spent about two weeks truly emptying out my head of every single thing I could think of. For instance, jobs. Some of you heard my, you know, here's all the jobs I've had, by the way. <laughs> so, um, 
if you want to know why I became a consultant, if you've had this many jobs, it's either consultant or flake that show up on your resume. So I decided to do the consultant aspect of it. So those are all the jobs I've had. If I go, you know, what are, who are all the people that I know? You know, what are, what's all that? And by the way, one of the things I found really cool was I found, well, you know, what were the timelines? Well, that happened in 1963, but what else happened in 1963? So I started to create a timeline so I could connect anything to whatever year that happened. I don't know what happened in 1983. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, well, here's 1959. I got an arm gash, and I won the talent show in my junior high school. Well, this is, I'm sure you're all going to sleep right now, but... <laughs> Oh, no, we're not. It's very fascinating, David. If, if you want to have a, an incredible experience of closure, because it will give you an, there's a capture and clarify and organize that you, nobody, that I didn't expect would happen to sit down and just do a brain dump about your life. And it's fascinating. It's fascinating to me. And then it just stays there. So whenever new things show up or anything else I want to add to it, you know, I can just, you know, add it to there. Oh, that's when I did offshore sailing school certification and my sister died. And anyway, so you see all kinds of cool things in here. So uh, that's the brain and how I use it.